shark fishing and toss it over the side. Anglers in this research-driven sporting event compete against each other without boats. To earn points, they'll need to safely catch, measure, photograph, and research tag all qualifying sharks before releasing them back to the wild. Land-based shark fishing in the Black Tip Challenge? Ha <laughs> ha! It's like nothing you've ever seen. previous episodes of the Black Tip Challenge. Who's gonna get him? I mean, that first one was strange enough how it missed that hole back end of that rig, period. When I got it in, it was just a monster, monster tip. The uh, calculated weight was about 150 pounds. You're watching the 2009 Black Tip Challenge Land Bay Shark Fishing Tournament. Now let's hit the beaches and see who's fishing and who's catching. Well, right now we're trying to get the bait out past the breakers. And the strategy is to take it at least 300 yards and hope for a big bull, hammer, or tiger. Black tip snow. And on the other side of that 300 yards, we've got a drop off, right? Yeah, it's a lot deeper out there. Uh, we got cow nose ray from the west coast. Uh, we caught about 12 of them. We brought them over for the tournament and, um, and big rocks to keep it down so the waves don't wash the bait back to the beach. As far as uh, the heavy gear here, it's a 14 0 with 130 mono, full spool, 180, er, 800 yards, uh, 11 foot, 130 to unlimited length. These are old workhorse reels, man. You can't go wrong with these no, babies, right? The old pin forever. Yeah, that's it. The old pin forever, guys. That's that hammer, I'm sure. I like the run. Watch out. Watch out, guys. Come on, run! Yeah, oh, he dropped. Willie, he might only took the rock. Leave it out there, he'll come back. Man, I'm going out. Get your <laughs> out there, that was a big one. Yeah, it was. Watch guys cast their baits, we 
watch a few kayaker baits. Last night we watched a guy walk into the wash and toss some baits. Yeah, and we're gonna surf the baits. Yeah, we're gonna surf the baits now. Josh, with the weather, fishing's been slow, but we've got two more days left in this tournament. Bring us up to speed with who's in the lead and how many sharks have been caught. Uh, 20 that I got and received from email, and, and uh, there's five more. And Ashley was on the, when I was on the phone with the guy, he had another one on, so I had to let me go. So that's possibly six more that I'm getting over. And I hear that that um, that Mikey up in uh, Jensen has got a bunch. So we're expecting a lot of sharks in the next two days. It's going to calm down and. It's gonna break. Someone, someone's gonna. I mean, wherever, whatever the standings are right now, it doesn't matter. Okay, because in the next two days, someone's gonna break everything. Okay, so I mean, it's either Chris Bishop. Chris Bishop's in the lead right now with everything. Most sharks, biggest shark, biggest black tip. But you know what? I mean, if he doesn't fish hard in the next two days, he's not gonna win. He's got to. Uh, he's definitely got, got got to stay consistent, and I think he will. So you know what? It's gonna be interesting to see. I mean, all it takes is one big fish. That car Perfect bite mark right there. We've lost a lot of the wind, but uh, at the same time, uh, it seems we've lost some of the uh, fishing action too. But that could all change in an instant, am I right? Absolutely, you know. Uh, I seen four right there, like I, I told you the fellas earlier. Right before right, I got in the water. Right before you got in the water, they swam right in front of me, you know. So there's fish in the area, it's just a matter of when they're going to feed. Yeah, I got hit again. Um, it came in, cut the rock off, and spit the bait. Never set the hook, nothing. He ran probably 10 yards and just spit the bait. Let's check the bite rate and see if we can figure out what it was. I'm going to say, uh, Five foot black tip or spinner shark. And this is what is left at this point. You see the perfect bite mark right there. It's about the average size of a bite of a black tip. Just missed the hook. Seven, eight inch wide. Smart sharks here today, apparently. He was definitely in the vicinity of 12 foot, and I'm almost positive he was eating, probably eating a black tip or eating a, a, a ray, because after a while I look over and I'm looking after we already dropped the bait, and I see the slick of the blood going north with the current. I see a slick. I said, well, that's why he's not coming over to eat my bait. Uh huh. He's uh, he's eating whatever it is he was, he was eating the the black tip. I saw the slick on top of the water, the blood. Yeah, he was challenged out. It was really great feeding behavior. I managed to catch a little bit of the tail end of it. It was exciting to see him there. It and was. Got our hearts pounding. It Uh, the 
tail. When you're ready. Fork. Fork. 59. 59. Overall. 73. 73. It's a male. You're watching the 2009 Black Tip Challenge Land Bay Shark Fishing Tournament. Now let's hit the beaches and see who's fishing and who's catching. Runners uh, hit down there, caught one. We got one from the boat. Um, they're hitting those as soon as they hit the water. We put a blue runner on that rod, the last three baits. And like that time before I even got back to shore, that's the only rod I did. I took it out, I brought it back to shore, and the rod just started bending over. I couldn't even get to it. So as soon as we're dropping it, they're they're hitting it. That's the bait to get right now. So it's Friday the 13th, and uh, you got any fishing superstitions? Uh, for better or for worse about that? No, nah, Friday the 13th, uh, today's a good day. I mean, uh, must be a good day for fishing.
o'clock, because 3 o'clock is hammer time. And we're gonna put this uh, kingfish out there. I can cut it up so it looks like it can swim. Jimmy, you got the picture? <laughs> Watch out, I need more, I need more. 68. 65. 68. 65. Skinny guy. Yeah. Push back to the ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just playing with some sharks today. Well, I think we're up to like five now. For the At least. Got some great uh, aerial footage. Got some great underwater footage. Uh, turning out Friday the 13th. Turned out to be a pretty good day out here in the beach. Tom showed up. Anything can happen, especially with the uh, conditions improving the river. Absolutely, and especially with the signs that we're seeing. Big sharks and tearing up little sharks and big runs, you know, I mean, just wait. Something big, something big, something big is going to be somewhere. So many females out here. Tag. You got the tape? Get it here. Let's go. Seventy-three. There's seventy-three total. Sixty. Girth. Oh, that's a fatty, hey. Thirty, thirty-three. 33, girl? 33, yeah. 33. Okay? What's that? Yeah. I don't think they should. Oh, 
you work. Yeah. What are your thoughts on how things gone so far this week? I'm about ready to wrap up. Well, you know, I didn't check my email. I haven't gotten any emails yet. So, I got a feeling I'm going to get a lot of the last emails at 12 a.m., you know. So, I think a lot of anglers are still out there actively giving Oh, yeah. Service. Everybody's going full out right now. You know, because, I mean, the biggest fish is 155 pounds. It's up for grabs, guys. I mean, That's right. You can catch a black tip right now and make it weigh 160 pounds. Someone gets a fish over the door, the girth of 40, you know, 40 inches, and, and, and uh, you know, its length is around 80 inches. It's a very good shot at, at breaking 155. You know, and, I mean, Gonna be, this, this is truly going to be a battle to the end. I mean, somebody could hook up at 11.58 and get Brendan in at 2 a.m. and can win the tournament. Exactly. It's not over for the Fat Lady Saints. <laughs> <laughs>